No, I'm marking a fish here, Gord. Oh, I think, oh, there it is. Good going, Roger. Excellent, hold on, let me get that transducer out. That's wrapped around the transducer. I got it, don't worry. There. Feels like a good, oh, oh here. Oh, oh, lovely, Roger, look at oh, that. Look, yeah, that's a nice one, eh, Gord? Isn't that amazing? Big female. Yeah, she's typical Lake Winnipeg greenback. <laughs> a nice big hog, eh? Yeah, gorgeous. Way to go. Yeah. Can you take a the... few of those every day? Yeah. You know, it's got a little growth on that one, but. Yeah. Here, let's get the hook out. But it, it's so neat on those on those noisy baits. It's just amazing. Whoops, watch your, your gills there, Roger. Yeah. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, I've noticed, uh, you know, we, you were here last year and we're fishing the basin here and uh, any baits that seem to have rattles and the horizontal bait, yeah, it seems to put the odds in your favor because if the fish are spread out, you bring them in from a distance. And I'll tell you what, let's put her back and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll open the box up and talk more about it. Wow. A farewell wave. Yeah. <laughs> That's so neat, Roger, and, and what I'd like to know, and I, I know everybody else would as well, tell me, why did you start doing this? I just, uh, I'm always trying new things, Gord, and uh, these fish out here in the basin are scattered and moving fish, and I wanted to find a bait with an extra loud rattle. Something to horizontal. call them, attract them? Is yeah. That, that... yeah, so you would stand out from the crowd. I'm usually fishing with a couple other guys, Yeah. and I want to, uh, always outfish them so I started fooling around with horizontal summer cranks. It's unbelievable the amount of big fish we're getting on these horizontal rattling bait. We're not talking about finessing these things, you're really ripping them. We're in 15 feet of water here and you can hear the rattles yeah. 15 feet away. Yeah, and uh, I think half the battle is first you got to make them show themselves and as soon as you call them in then you can make that adjustment. Yeah. The old attraction and then the trigger part and uh, you can't beat these baits for attracting them. Then when the fish shows up on your sonar, you can't do it without sonar, because then sometimes you have to slow down and you can raise them up five, six feet off bottom before they'll commit, and, but when they commit, it's a lot of fun. Here it comes. Got him, got him. Got one, Jeff. Okay. this rod for you. 10 feet deep, They're, they come up pretty quick. Oh yeah. Oh, nice, Jeff, oh. beauty. Oh, oh, nice there one, you go. Jeff. Look at that, here you go, buddy. <laughs> oh man. Isn't that something? What a beauty. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, good going. Um, and that's on the, the buckshot rattle or jig uh, or spoon, uh, Jeffy. And you know, that is the traditional standard for, for running and gunning and, and a fairly aggressive bite, eh? But isn't that a beautiful fish? Yeah, yeah. The the jigging and the dead stick. You know, we probably we probably did half and half on each today. Yes. But uh, yeah, it's just an awesome, awesome system. Call them in on one, and if they don't bite on the aggressive one, they see that other one right beside it, and yeah. they just swing right over and nail it. Yeah. Every time. You no, know, it takes a little more time to set up, but <laughs> it's twice as it. many fish. We're not going to argue with that, no, are we? No, we sure <laughs> aren't. Really, really nice average size. Just. Beautiful. What I, a way I'd to say end the day. average. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good call.